Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your weekly love reading. This will be a six card spread using two different decks um, to have a look and see what is potentially coming up in the week ahead. So please keep in mind this is a general reading. If you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. All the information that you require is listed below in the show more section including prices, services, turnaround time, as well as my email. Uh, so I am currently open to those private readings. Um, otherwise, I do want to thank everyone for all uh, your support um, during this time. Um, likes, shares, donations, and subscriptions really does mean a lot, Leo. So thank you so much in advance for doing that. Um, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. Uh, Leo's in the upcoming week. Okay, Leo. Okay, Page of Pentacles, the Reverie card reversed. Okay, we've got the Devil, could be a Capricorn coming through. Uh, straight away, Leo, I want to say there's potentially some overthinking or an unhealthy obsession. The Devil can be obsession. Page of Pentacles is reversed, um, so it can either indicate that he's too into something un in an unhealthy way, too much of an unhealthy fixation, or there's no there's no care factor at all. Um, okay, the Two of Wands is reversed. Got the Death card. Okay, Nine of Cups. This is the Wish card, so wishes, wants are fulfilled in some capacity here, Leo. Okay, so... The death card is reversed, so it could be that something isn't hasn't finished just yet, okay? But the devil could indicate there's something unhealthy that's going on. So it can be that some of you, it could be someone from your past, or it could be someone you wanted to end a connection with. It's not done yet. Um, and if you're wishing for them to come back, or if you're wishing for them to still be sort of fixated slash obsessed with you, Leo, it could still be happening. Okay, you've got the wish card, and the devil can be like, you know, because the level the devil is tempting, it's alluring, you know, we're interested, we're intrigued, we want to go down that path. So, um, Leo, it could be that someone's doing this to you, okay? Someone has that sort of power over you, and you can't seem to let them go, okay? Or you can't seem to walk away. Now, it could be reversed, and it could be that someone is thinking this way about you. It could be a Capricorn, you have Scorpio here. Um... The two of ones is reversed. This is often having like options, Leo. I think this is you coming up as a two of ones reversed. Uh, so, I mean, this normally indicates a lot of back and forth though. So, and the fact that it's upside down would indicate there is no more back and forth. There is no more ping ponging. Um, so it's not so much, I mean, that could be a phase that's ending in your connections for some of you actually where there has been a lot of like back and forth, you know, the devil energy, there's been endings, but not endings. And you've sort of been like in this limbo. Um, it could be that you're no longer, you're no longer at this limbo stage because you've got the reverie card. And I always associate this card with like, what ifs, and there's still big questions um, that need answering here, or you're trying to feel your way through a situation, but this is reversed. So it's almost like, there's no question about it. It's like you're getting the truth. You're getting what's what, what people are showing you, what lovers are showing you, what spouses are showing you, what exes are showing you. It's all out there. It's all being presented to you. Especially if there were secrets, you know, I often associate this skeletal figure with secrets. They could be coming out, okay, they could be exposed somehow with a death card. Um, well, Leo, this could speak more of your subconscious, actually. But there could be someone you're... This could be like obsessive thoughts, Leo. Um... But for some reason, obsessive thoughts, wishes and wants are, are coming up. So I think what's coming up here is that there's someone here that, that's wishing, wanting, or feeling obsessed with you, by you, 
because I feel like with the Nine of Cups, some someone's happy about it. So it just really depends which way this is going to work, which way um, you fit into this reading here, Leo. So it's either you're the one that someone is obsessing over or you're having obsessive thoughts about someone else. Um, but it's so like they're drawing you in so much, that there's no question about it. You don't care what it takes, what you need to do, how you need to do it. You're determined to get this person or get this connection. Could also be an ex feeling this way about you, though the death card can be the past. Um, and it's like they're really wishing and wanting you. I don't think there's like um, deception, the two of wands. I mean, sometimes the devil can be like deception. Looks can be deceiving. Sometimes we feel like it's temptation. But I don't feel like there's necessarily an act of deception this week. I think it's more to do with temptation and obsessive thoughts or sexual or, or fantasies. So it could be that someone's very much fantasizing about you. fantasizing about where you could be together, what you could be doing together, about the future maybe. Because in some capacity there's, I don't know, Leo, I think it's more that, I think it's more that they're obsessing over you and there's no question about it. They're making it obvious. It's not subtle at all. This isn't a subtle gesture. This isn't a subtle act. These are not subtle feelings. Um, it's almost like you can't hide this. Um, but I do feel like it could be your ex wanting you back uh, or potentially you wanting an ex back. Because normally, you know, the castle walls, they're a protective measure. Um, but in this case, it's like dropping the castle walls. The castle walls would fall this way. So it's like dropping your guard and... You're not even hesitating about it. You want this. You want it bad enough to make it happen. And whatever you have to do, Leo, to make that happen, you'll do. There's, Like I said, there's no question about it. It's going to pull you in or this person is going to pull you in. The past is going to suck you back. Whatever it is, it's going to pull you in. It's going to draw you in, I think, Leo. So there could be a lot of temptation to go back to the past somehow um, in the upcoming week ahead for some of you watching. I will leave your reading at that, uh, though. So thank you again so much for tuning in. I do hope it has been helpful.